Toyota is diving headfirst into the electric vehicles market by launching the mega $14 billion battery factory in North Carolina. This colossal project will span over 1,800 acres and will give China's EV dominance a run for its money. Let's discuss all about it. The $14 billion EV battery factory is undoubtedly one of Toyota's biggest projects. With this project, they aim to build a colossal factory in Greensboro, North Carolina that will completely revolutionize the EV industry. This facility, spanning across thousands of acres, will be the next step towards mass-producing electric vehicles. With its modern design, advanced technology, unprecedented scale, and advanced engineering tools, Toyota's new factory is set to raise the bar of battery manufacturing in the United States. However, this is more than just establishing a battery manufacturing plant. Rather, it's about pushing the limits of EV production. From major land alterations to unique construction techniques, the road towards building this won't be straight and will have some pretty heavy bumps. Every aspect, from the foundation to the final assembly line, has been methodically designed to assure efficiency, sustainability, and long-term success. China has been dominating the global EV battery supply chain for years as it generates more than 50% of the world's batteries. This supremacy has left the United States largely reliant on imports, exposing supply chain weaknesses and constraining domestic industrial growth. However, due to the increasing political tensions and economic fluctuation, the United States government is taking some serious action. They're focusing on manufacturing batteries locally to decrease their reliance on foreign suppliers and strengthen their position in the EV industry. Why this big change now? A key reason for this has to be the tariffs. In its previous run, the Trump administration had imposed a 25% tariff on Chinese EV imports in hopes of reducing their dependence on overseas manufacturing. However, under the Biden administration in 2024, these tariffs were raised to 100% putting an end to Chinese EVs in the US market. Due to this aggressive measure, companies are forced to shift their production locally. This tough decision will foster technological advancement and job creation in the United States and finally become self-reliant in the EV industry. Toyota is driving this transformation with a record-breaking $13.9 billion EV battery facility in North Carolina. This massive factory is said to be Toyota's biggest manufacturing investment in the US and undoubtedly the most ambitious one. This move allows Toyota to avoid tariffs while still gaining access to lucrative federal subsidies aimed at encouraging domestic manufacture. More crucially, it gives Toyota complete control over its supply chain, eliminating the risks of geopolitical instability and raw material shortages. Toyota secures its competitiveness in the developing EV industry by localizing production, joining Tesla, Ford, and General Motors. You might be wondering, why North Carolina specifically? Why not California or even Texas? Well, this decision to build the factory in North Carolina was a pure strategic decision as they wanted it to be closer to Toyota's Kentucky manufacturing hub. This will help them streamline logistics, efficiently assemble vehicles, and even save money. That's not the only reason, as the state of North Carolina boasts renewable energy sources which perfectly aligns with Toyota's goal of achieving zero carbon emission and operating on 100% clean energy. The state also has policies that favor businesses and access to highly skilled workforces who can help build and operate this massive facility. With all these elements combined, North Carolina was the perfect location. Toyota's new $14 billion EV battery factory is more than just a production facility. It is a testament of Toyota's commitment to the EV revolution and demonstrates that the United States is willing to compete on a global scale. Toyota's brave action not only secures its future, but also helps to revolutionize and grow the EV sector in America. When you have access to such a colossal amount of land of 1,825 acres, you need to take decisions strategically when you have the area covered by rolling hills and dense vegetation, you need to be even more careful. And Toyota has done that. Before they could even start construction, Toyota's Greensboro Randolph megasite in North Carolina had to undergo an extensive reshaping and site preparation so it can support the mega facility. The area had soft soil, 
uneven terrain, and severe geological complications, which required unique land preparation techniques. Toyota's engineers conducted one of the greatest earth-moving operations in North Carolina history by moving over 28 million cubic yards of dirt. For reference, this amount of dirt could fill up 8,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. However, this was just the beginning, as there were a lot of things to be done after. In the absence of reinforcement, the land was at risk of subsidence, which occurs when the Earth gradually dips over time, thus threatening the structural integrity of the plant in the long run. To stop this from happening, engineers employed several deep soil stabilization techniques. They injected materials similar to cement into the earth that could harden the softer ground layers and increase the land's ability to withstand the structure. Vibratory rollers were also used that compacted the soil by removing air pockets in it to create a dense and stable foundation. Prior to beginning any physical work, the site's geological characteristics were assessed using cutting-edge precision mapping equipment. Methods like cone penetration testing, or CPT, involves inserting metal probes into the ground to provide real-time data on soil strength and density. They also used Ground Penetrating Radar, or GPR, which is used to detect concealed rock formations, subsurface water channels, and probable fault lines that might cause building delays. Toyota's engineers also used Finite Element Modeling, or FEM simulations, to ensure the area's long-term stability. FEM is a computer-based method that allows engineers to predict how a particular area is going to respond under heavy weights, battery storage units, and assembly. This is a crucial step, as it allows engineers to spot potential weaknesses in the area before they break ground. For months, a massive army of heavy gear, including bulldozers, scrapers, cranes, and high-duty rollers, worked together to prepare the site. In the end, Toyota effectively converted a difficult piece of terrain into a rock-solid foundation which could support one of the world's most sophisticated EV battery plants. The Toyota Battery Manufacturing in North Carolina, or TBMNC, is a construction project of unparalleled scale. Building a state-of-the-art battery manufacturing plant spanning over 1,800 acres needs a vast supply of materials, machinery, and manpower. For the foundation alone, over 600,000 cubic yards of concrete is required to fill the dirt dug up. This amount of concrete is enough to pave a highway from the capital city of Washington, D.C. to North Carolina. The steel framework of this facility will need approximately 50,000 tons of steel, which is equal to seven Eiffel Towers. These ginormous quantities are needed to build the 14 production lines for lithium-ion battery assembly. A crew of at least 3,000 skilled laborers is working around the clock to ensure the project is completed within time frame. Engineers, electricians, welders, and crane operators are working religiously to keep the site functioning continuously, with only one day off every week. This labor is supported by an army of more than 170 heavy equipment pieces, each of which plays an important part in shaping the terrain and building the facility. Caterpillar 631 scrapers and D10 bulldozers reshaped the ground with astonishing efficiency, moving up to 60 cubic yards of soil in one pass. Excavators 395 and PC 1250 delved deeper into the dirt to create areas for subterrain services and strengthen support structures. Meanwhile, 745 dump trucks transport millions of cubic yards of earth, guaranteeing that excavation continues without interruption. Once the facility's groundwork is finished, 500-ton cranes will take over and precisely hoist massive steel beams into place. After the groundwork, this is a crucial step, as this will hold the factory superstructure in place to ensure that each and every truss, support, and beam is placed perfectly with minimal or no errors. Since there's a strict timeline, construction needs to be precise with no margin for error. Each component of the build must be installed seamlessly to ensure safety and efficiency. Toyota has built a 25-acre maintenance facility dedicated to just maintaining and repairing machines in the facility. Technicians labor 20 hours every day to ensure that equipment faults do not hinder development. Whether it's servicing hydraulic systems in bulldozers or tuning excavator engines, this hub keeps all the equipment running. This development project is more than simply a plant it represents Toyota's ambition and commitment to electric vehicle manufacturing in the United States. As the structure takes shape, 
it becomes evident that this facility is more than just about manufacturing. It's also about ensuring the future of American electric car innovation. To build such an advanced and massive factory, you need more than just machines, production lines, and walls. You need to have an integrated ecosystem that fulfills its sustainability, water, and energy requirements. Toyota's plan with this incredible plant was to make this not only the biggest, but also the most advanced and sustainable EV manufacturing facility in the world. With its construction and operation, they look to set new standards for large-scale manufacturing efficiency, accompanied by sustainability. The facility heavily depends on its modern water management system for a consistent supply for both industrial and operational purposes. A 750,000-gallon raised storage tank stands 180 feet tall and offers continuous water availability throughout the complex. This large tank is an essential component of the plant's fire suppression system, cooling systems, and battery manufacturing operations, all of which require careful water management. With North Carolina's scorching summers and changeable environment, this system ensures a regular water supply while putting minimal impact on local resources. Now, to the facility's most incredible feat. Powering an 1,800-acre facility with 14 production lines for high-energy production is an incredible feat in itself, but making sure that this power is 100% renewable is something incredible. By maximizing renewable energy sources, Toyota is moving closer towards its goal of achieving carbon neutrality by the year 2035. For this, they'll use a combination of on-site solar farms and fulfill the deficit by sourcing clean energy from regional suppliers in North Carolina. With these sustainability efforts, they aim to future-proof operations where sustainability and technology are considered as key competitive advantages. Apart from water and energy management, the facility's design is intended to be adaptable. Toyota has implemented a modular expansion approach, which allows the facility to evolve as battery technology progresses. As advancements in solid-state batteries, high-capacity lithium-ion cells, and new manufacturing processes emerge, the plant's infrastructure may be improved without a major rebuild. This strategy of thinking ahead of time will ensure Toyota that the North Carolina plant will not only be a key participant in the current EV industry, but will also be at the forefront of innovation for decades to come. Toyota's plan with their battery production facility is more than just a factory. Their aim with this facility is to transform Liberty and North Carolina into a global EV production powerhouse. Once the facility finally starts production in 2025, it will create over 5,000 permanent tech jobs, along with thousands of logistics, support, and supply chain employments. Economists believe that the Toyota battery manufacturing in North Carolina will inject $9.5 billion into the local economy over the span of two decades and make the area a pioneer in American EV production. But the stats don't end there. This industrial behemoth will have an annual output capacity of 30 gigawatt hours, enough to power almost 1 million electric vehicles each year. To accommodate rising demand, the plant will have 14 dedicated battery manufacturing lines, four for hybrid electric vehicles and 10 for completely battery electric cars, giving Toyota the flexibility to respond to market trends. This facility is simply one part of Toyota's overall EV strategy. By 2030, the business intends to introduce 30 new electric models, guaranteeing that North Carolina becomes a vital center in the United States EV supply chain. Toyota's aggressive investment makes it apparent that it aspires to be a dominating player in the global electric vehicle industry. However, things are not all good for the EV industry in the United States, as Trump's administration is planning to remove subsidies and policies favoring electric vehicles and their production. This could halter EV production and adoption across the country. Because of this news, Tesla and Rivian stocks have experienced a significant drop which shows the increasing uncertainty in the EV industry. Despite the uncertainties, automakers are not slowing down. Toyota, Ford, and General Motors are spending billions of dollars in local EV manufacture, securing supply chains to lessen reliance on foreign-made batteries, particularly those from China, which accounts for about 60% of the global supply chain. Toyota's North Carolina EV battery facility exemplifies this change. Regardless of political upheavals, the future of electric vehicles in the United States still looks promising.
What do you think about the future of electric vehicles in the US after this news from Trump? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you've enjoyed this video then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.